Today I shall narrate to you the story of my broken Buddha. This Buddha was given as a gift to me by a group of very good friends about 40 years ago. 40 years? A paper mache cemented Buddha travels with me from one continent to the other. He traveled with me in boxes, in cartons, in a ship. He also traveled with me in the flight, in lorries and wagons. He remained untouched. He distributed his wealth from the bag that he carried to all the people who came to my home, including to me. And I presume, I um, assume, and I imagined that he must have run short of some resources. So I made him stand on the laptop and I told him, Buddha, now you can stand here and mint some bitcoins. It's the latest currency that you can give away to the world. And he agreed and he was standing in my Zen garden. He was standing in my Zen garden for the last uh, eight years and then suddenly a visitor arrived and with some pushing and negligence Buddha was thrown onto the crown and Buddha was broken into pieces. It was just last week it happened and I was told that broken statues should not be at home. They should be thrown away. They should be discarded because it brings bad luck. But then, I am a believer of King Tsuki. I believe that all broken things have a new path to take. Though I have no idea, I have no knowledge about the technique of how I could work on King Tsuki because I don't have gold dust and molten gold to repair its broken wounds. So I somehow managed to put him together and then I find that Buddha is still smiling at the world. He's trying to tell me, he's trying to tell the world you can break me up but not my smile. I still have my feet on the ground. I can still take steps ahead. I have my hand carrying the elixir of life. I have my belly which you can stroke every morning. I have my big ears to listen to the woes of the world. Why do you wait? Why do you wish to throw me away? I said, no Buddha, you're my sweet little Buddha. You've been with me over the years. You've been with me through thick and thin, through storms and trials. How could I? You're going to stand installed on the same place, in the same place, in the same way. And I wish and I hope that one day I'll learn the art of Kintsuki and I shall put you together so that you may regain your strength. But I know you are absolutely strong in the most broken little bits. This is Grace Sitaraman appreciating my Buddha at home in my Zen garden.